You've arrived at the Westchester County Center. Stop nine along the Bronx Riverwalk, sponsored by the Friends of Westchester County Parks. Since its grand opening in 1930, the Westchester County Center has offered something for everyone, from concerts featuring stars like Judy Garland, James Brown, and Kenny Rogers, to exciting boxing and basketball, featuring the world-renowned Harlem Globetrotters, to the fun of the Royal Hannaford Circus. The center's been where the action is for top-flight entertainment. The multi-purpose facility has also hosted countless trade shows, meetings, conventions, and civic and community events. Take a quick look at the giant electronic sign or the many hanging banners to see what's coming here in the next few weeks. Back in the 1920s, local schools, businesses, and civics groups petitioned the county for a meeting place. Agnes Meyer, chairwoman of the Westchester Parks Commission, said the center would be like a colonial village green where the entire community could come together. The Myers had a home in Mount Kisco, but would move to Washington, D.C. in 1933 when they bought the Washington Post. Their daughter, Catherine Graham, would become one of the most influential women in journalism as publisher of that newspaper. In 1924, the Westchester Recreation Commission chose the award-winning architectural firm of Walker & Gillette, who designed the center in the classic Art Deco style. Six years and $785,000 later, the Westchester County Center debuted with a gala concert featuring the famous pianist and White Plains resident Percy Granger, Metropolitan Opera tenor Edward Johnson, organist Palmer Christian, and more than 1,500 local choral group performers. The center underwent a $16 million facelift, which was completed in 1988. The newly renovated state-of-the-art facility expanded to 5,000 seats. To celebrate, a grand reopening gala was held, starring entertainer Liza Minnelli. Become a friend of Westchester County Parks to preserve the Bronx River Parkway Reservation for future generations.